Good evening, board. My name is Scott Weinberg. I have two children in Kyrene. I'm here uh, to inform the board of my efforts to review the Corwin Deep Equity materials. I emailed Dr. Vesley on October 28th and asked to review the Corwin Yes materials. She denied my request stating, quote, these materials are copyright protected and not disclosable by Kyrene. She further stated that my child was not on the student superintendent council and the Yes program was not, quote, adopted curriculum. On November 4th, I emailed Dr. Vesley again and advised I would be at the district office on November 6th at 9 a.m. and asked her to make arrangements for me to review all available Corwin materials. Through separate communications with the State of Arizona Ombudsman's office, I became aware that Kyrene's attorney, Jordan L.L., asserted that, quote, the district does not actually possess any of the material itself. When Corwin comes to provide professional development or training, they present materials that are not kept in the possession of the district. This includes the yes materials. I believe this assertion to be untrue. Based on my sources, the district is in possession of at least three Corwin manuals in hard copy form. The notion that Kyrene would pay Corwin $180,000 and have nothing to show for it is ridiculous. I arrived at the district on November 6 with two other parents and was greeted by Noah Johnson, Kyrene's safety and security coordinator. He said we would not uh, be allowed to review the materials and asked us to make an appointment with Dr. Vesley. This morning, I filed a formal information request pursuant to ARS 15-102 to review the three Corwin manuals, the signed Corwin contract, and receipts for all payments to Corwin. Per statute, if my request is denied, I can submit my request directly to the board. The request must be placed on the agenda and formally considered during the next public meeting. Thank you for your time. Have a good evening. Thank you.